What's up everybody, Matt Moran here for a breaking news story. I never do these types of videos, I just posted a weekly update a few hours ago, but Subaru dropped the bombshell news here late this Friday afternoon um, that the Subaru WRX will not be getting an STI version for this generation at all. And um, it, this, there's a lot of weirdness around this and um, I have a lot of questions. It's, it totally blindsided me and basically every other enthusiast um, for several reasons. Um, so first I'm just gonna read the statement because it's pretty short here as far as why Subaru says they're canceling the STI and then we'll kind of dissect this a little bit. So um, they sent this letter out to retailers and also they posted it on their media site. So this is 100% legit by the way. Um, they said, uh, as the automotive marketplace continues to move towards electrification, Subaru is focused on how our future sports and performance cars should evolve to meet the needs of the changing marketplace and the regulations and requirements for greenhouse gases, zero emissions vehicles, and corporate average fuel economy. As part of that effort, Subaru Corporation is exploring opportunities for the next generation Subaru WRX STI, including electrification. In the meantime, a next generation internal combustion engine WRX STI will not be produced based upon the new WRX platform. The Subaru WRX STI and STI brand represent the zenith of Subaru's performance vehicles, exemplifying Subaru's unique DNA and rally heritage. As we look to the future, we also look forward to incorporating the essence of STI into our next generation of vehicles. So, um, you know, it doesn't mean there will never be another STI again, but it means that we will not have one for this generation of the WRX, which just came out here. It's just hitting, you know, dealerships now. Um, and we know it takes about seven years to come out with a new WRX uh, and therefore a new STI. So um, that means that basically, you know, it, I'm assuming if we do see some type of electric STI, it will not be here until 2029 or 2030. So, I mean... Uh, it's going to leave an enormous gap of no performance vehicle above the WRX. And um, it's kind of crazy. And so I'm kind of shocked about this, especially well, there's a couple of different reasons. First, there was a leaked timeline, which um, had been turned out to be pretty accurate. Uh, that was leaked a couple of years back, showing when the new BRZ was going to come, when the new WRX was going to come and a bunch of other stuff as well as the new STI, which it said was gonna come about a year after the WRX. So I was fully expecting a debut at the end of this year. Um, and you know, it's also kind of surprising because I can even say that I was on the Subaru WRX you know, media launch event um, and the uh, STI, you know, got brought up. One of the other journalists asked a question about like, so what about the STI? And um, one of the Subaru executives said, we're not going to talk about about Big Brother today, um, you know, with a smile on his face, like it's coming, you know, just stay tuned. The typical kind of like get excited. So I, f it's not like this is something that was always planned. And the fact that they're putting out this press release late on a Friday afternoon, not when press releases usually get put out, um, and the end of a Friday, it's like you know they're trying to almost bury the news in a way, and you know hope that people miss it or something. It's kind of strange. It's a very short. Uh, usually PR, you know, press releases are way longer and, you know, just a little bit more, um, I guess, developed than this one. And so um, I actually did have someone else, a fan that um, emailed me that was on the call um, with the dealers and um, said basically no one made a sound after they dropped that news. Um, so, you know, I don't know if maybe they just put this out publicly because they knew it was going to get leaked immediately because um, it's such huge news or what. But... You know, it just doesn't make sense. If the you know, Subaru's executives were hinting that they're anticipating it, you know, and at this point, you know, based on the way vehicles are developed, I mean, a WRX STI has got to be close to being production ready at this point. Um, you know, so there's a new WRX STI out there. They're just choosing not to sell it and killing it off for whatever reason. Um, now it could be a dollar and cents thing of, okay, well, we can't justify coming out with a brand new engine that you know, only is going to have a few years of life because we're going to electric stuff. That's fine. But that's something they should have figured out a couple of years ago, not in the 11th hour here and, you know, hit the brakes at the last minute. So there's something weird going on behind the scenes. I feel like that I, you know, none of us are aware of, uh, but you know, it just seems very strange the way this whole thing got, you know, released and announced and the circumstances. I would love to hear what you think and your uh, thoughts on it in the uh, comments below. But I mean, in the meantime, 
one thing I can say is, you know, I had always assumed that, you know, the new WRX GT um, was CVT only because, you know, the adaptive dampers that that car had, they were Caro seats. Those were probably going to be reserved for the STI version um, for those who wanted, you know, those things with a manual transmission. Now I would assume, um, you know, if Super really is, you know, going to try and, I guess, uh, make lemons out, lemonade out of lemons, you know, the, they'll hopefully now offer the WRX GT in a manual, you know, for the 2023 model year possibly, um, since there is no STI to protect anymore um, in that regard. Uh, so, you know, that could be one thing to kind of soften the blow a little bit for some people. Yeah, it's just kind of kind of crazy and it also is really a bummer because now at this point as of stuff that's on sale currently there's the golf r if you want a manual transmission and all-wheel drive i believe that's it toyota is coming out with the gr corolla that is coming here it's going to be all-wheel drive and most likely a manual transmission using the gr yaris motor but the best rumors are saying that'll be maybe close to 300 horsepower so it's already going to be down on power compared to the sti and speaking of the sti the STI, according to the dealer stuff, is that 2021 was the last model year. There's not even going to be like a 2022 model year. There's not going to be a final edition. There's not going to be anything um, to send it off. It's just immediately being killed, which is another really kind of like shady thing as far as, you know, like this was definitely not planned. Whatever's going on. I don't know if they desperately need the factory at the last minute for something or, you know, what... It just It's all so confusing and um, kind of just very perplexing. Um... But yeah, so supposedly whatever's out there, I'm guessing is out there. I don't know if they've already halted production or if they will do so, you know, very, very soon or what the deal is. But I just have to say congratulations to those of you who bought a 2021 STI because your values are probably going to shoot through the roof. And um, I now feel very, very lucky to have been able to drive the STIs over the years, but also to spend a week with the S209 STI, not knowing that that was going to be the last epic, most, you know, highest performing version of the Debrex STI with a gas powertrain, at least, that we'll ever see. Um, which is, it's just crazy to, you know, I mean, you hear all this stuff about everything going electric, this, that, and the other. Uh, and, you know, usually there's rumors and, you know, lead up to stuff, but very rarely, I mean, I've been covering automotive news for, you know, almost a decade here. It very rarely does it completely blindside you where there's no rumors, no nothing, and just out of thin air, boom, something comes and smacks you in the face. Um, so this, this is crazy. Um, and I'm also, many of you who know the channel, you know, know that I used to be the Super WX fan. That was my username. And I still am a big fan of the car. You know, I mean, over the years, I've been disappointed with some of the things Subaru did with it. And I wish they would have done things differently. You know, like we all, you know, can be armchair quarterbacks about, you know, all this kind of stuff. But, you know, I still hugely admired the car and the fact they kept it going when Mitsubishi killed off the Evo and whatnot. Um, and uh, the STI is fantastic, as is the new WRX for that matter. So I was really looking forward to them improving things for a you know new generation STI here. So um, yeah, it's just it's a bummer. And I mean, it's I even d dug out because I've been a Super Darks fan for years that I you know saved all the stuff from back whenever they uh, came out with the STI originally back in you know 2003 for the 2004 model year. I mean, I even have like the original dealer brochure that i saved and uh just tore up because i was a 13 year old that was obsessed with this car and you know just all the original stuff i mean you know i'm a huge fan of the sti so this is also very very personal for me that um you know it's it's not going to be here maybe we'll see an electric one in seven or eight years but a lot can change in that amount of time as well you know i mean subaru does have you know the WX and they do have the brz and they have you know a very performance oriented heart. I, you know, know several of the people that, you know, work within Subaru. I got to know them a little bit on some of the press launches over the past couple of years here. And, you know, I know that they, you know, are enthusiasts as well. So I'm sure this is really tough for them as well. So I'm not sure where this decision came from, what's going on. Um, you know, but it's, it also seems like it's a big waste of money because they definitely have been developing something for the new STI and that's all just being flushed down the drain. So, yeah, it's uh, it's just a bummer. So, you know, we'll see. I mean, you know, there was the um, STI ERA that was shown at the Tokyo Auto Salon back in January of, you know, Subaru is going to be going after a, I think, a 640 ring time they want with that electric prototype. Uh, obviously, that's I think that thing's got, you know, a thousand horsepower or something. But, you know, hopefully the stuff that they learn from that will eventually work its way into a new STI that's electric. And maybe we won't have to wait seven or eight years. We'll have to see 
Um, but you know, it's just a bummer because you know, I mean, it's just that's the thing we've always loved about them is the turbo <laughs> and yeah, the huge wing, which I am almost guaranteeing you there will not be a huge wing if it's an electric car because that would kill the range and stuff. So it's just an end of an era in a way, and. Um, yeah, so it's just, it's really a bummer because you know, ever since the very first time I drove an STI on camera, I did a review on one back in my early days of doing reviews. Um, ever since then, you know, I've loved the formula. It's been, you know, so, so cool. And um, just the thought of not having STIs with, you know, blow off valves and loud exhausts and, um, you know, that boxer rumble and everything. Um, it's, it's sad. It's, um, it's a bummer. So I'm kind of shell shocked here just you know, processing this, uh, like I'm sure many of you are as well. So I'm sorry if I'm rambling a little bit here, but, um, yeah, so, uh, we'll see how this develops. Obviously this is something I'll, you know, keep a close eye on if there's any new rumors about what's going on. And I mean, at least thankfully, you know, we do have Toyota coming in with a new, you know, entry here with the Corolla GR and hopefully this in incentivizes Volkswagen to keep the Golf R around for this new generation version. Hopefully the Golf R at least sells like hotcakes. So there's at least one uh, option over 300 horsepower for people that want all wheel drive in a manual. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll just have to see. I maybe, you know, I'm hoping that like maybe Ford will then be tempted to bring back the Focus RS here in the States or something to fill the niche. Um, Cause I mean, it's not like the STI sells in huge numbers, but it's certainly a gap of, you know, enthusiasts who need good power and all wheel drive and want a manual still. And now they don't have that. So um, it's really, a, it's a sad day for enthusiasts, honestly. And so anyway, um, that's about it. So yes, please let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. And um, yeah, we'll, um, you know, talk about this more. You know, if there's any kind of new news, I will certainly report it as soon as I hear it. But yeah, so to end the video, I think that this calls for some whiskey as I uh, sometimes do here in these uh, weekly updates whenever there's some crazy car news that is worth drinking to, this is one of those times. The WX STI, it's definitely worth the drink. So cheers to the STI for all the years of brightening up the automotive world, the fun that it provided, and the um, just the positive impact that it had on car culture in general. Um, thank you, Subaru, for bringing it here for as long as you have. And um, hopefully someday we see some form of an STI again, but to the awesome, turbocharged, gasoline, boxer engine powered, big winged WRX STI. Cheers to you. So anyway, that's it for this video guys. Um, and yeah, I will keep you posted if I hear anything else, but thank you all very much for watching. Let me know your thoughts again in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.